Hey guys, it's Jacob, support specialist from Bucket Group. Today, I wanted to go over how to get HaptoConnect set up and point out some key things that you should know. First, let's get the application installed. The most recent version of HaptoConnect can always be found on our website on the release notes section. Once you have HaptoConnect installed and you have signed in, you will notice that there are two tabs at the top of the application. These are Game Connect mode and audio splitter. Let's start with Game Connect mode. Game Connect mode is where we convert game data into haptic effects. The first thing that we need to do here is configure our settings. Clicking configure will take us into the butt kicker spatial configuration screen. In the first drop down menu, we have configurations currently offered by Haptic Connect. We have mono, left and right, front and back, and lastly four corners. The number of butt kicker products you have will determine which you choose. For this setup, we will choose mono for one butt kicker. In the next drop down, you will select where to send the signal. You want to send the signal to the amplifier, but the option that you pick depends on how you have it connected to your PC. If connected with the USB cable, you will look for an option that says speakers, in parentheses, butt kicker, plus or pro. If connected to the PC with the RCA to 3.5 millimeter cable, then the device will take the name of where it is plugged in. For example, if plugged into the headphone port on the front of the PC, this is usually labeled as speakers or headset, real tech, high definition audio. The last drop down should automatically fill. It does not need to be changed unless you are using an external sound card with multiple inputs that you would need to specify the output. You can hit test and you should now feel the butt kicker shake. Since we are using game telemetry in game connect mode, you will set your Windows default audio device to whatever listening device you use, like your headphones or speakers. Before we leave this section of Haptic Connect, there's a couple things that you should be aware of. When in the spatial configuration screen, we pause outside sources from sending signal to the amplifier. So you need to make sure that you back out of this screen with the arrow in the top left before proceeding in game. The second thing to mention is Haptic Connect is a tray app application. This means that when you hit the X or the minimize button, the application does not completely close, but is minimized to the tray. You can find that by going to the bottom right hand corner of your computer and clicking on the caret symbol. The pausing signal, like I mentioned before, will still happen if the application is minimized to the tray while in the spatial configuration screen. Once out of the spatial configuration screen, you should now see that the games listed below are no longer grayed out. We've streamlined our user interface and implemented processes into the backend so that you can make quick and easy adjustments and spend more time in game and less in the software. Once you click on a game title, you will see that we have sliders to adjust the in game effects to your liking. A common misconception here is that the sliders are volume bars defaulted to 50%, but they are actually the intensity of the effects and their connected components. Game Connect mode is robust and powerful, with much more going on behind the scenes than meets the eye. Next, let's look at the audio splitter. Note that when we switch the tabs, it does disable the tab that you are not on. The audio splitter mode is used when Game Connect mode does not support that title. This allows you to get audio based haptics with any game. To start off, you first need to tell Windows to send audio to the audio splitter. To do this, go to your Windows default audio device and change this to Butt Kicker Input Butt Kicker Virtual Audio Device. Back in Haptic Connect, we have two drop downs. In the first drop down, just like Game Connect, select the amplifier. And in the second drop down, select your listening device, your headset, or your speakers. Test in game to confirm you have both sound and haptics. All right, let's go over what we've learned today. Signal is paused from the outside sources when inside of the spatial configuration screen. This is also true when minimized on the spatial configuration screen. Have to connect being a tray app means unless you quit out of it, it does not close the application. You can find that by navigating to the tray app. The device will show differently depending on how it is connected to the PC. And lastly, game effect sliders do not equal volume. I hope this helps. Thanks for watching.